I'll give you 60 bucks. What all you got, kid? Tell me the combination. 45, 13, 29. What will happen to him? We've called child services, but they're understaffed and can't come out until tomorrow at the earliest. So the only place for Ryan to stay is at the juvenile cell at the sheriff's station. What does everybody want? Let me guess. Pancakes? With powdered sugar, not syrup. How did you know that? I saw you eyeing them when you came in. <clears throat> Scrambled eggs, bacon, coffee with milk and a little bit of honey. <laughs> well, that is some trick there, kiddo. What do you want for breakfast? Don't you want anything, Clark? I'm just going to have some pancakes. I like being around you, Clark. It's peaceful. And people from all over came to see if he was their missing child. Some people even thought he was the lost son of the Grand Duke. Did he ever find his parents? You know... Yeah, he did. Um, he found his parents and they lived happily ever after. Why didn't you just say he was murdered? How did you know that? Okay, I'm gonna go down with this. I'll be there in a sec. She likes you. Yeah, we're friends. She wants to be more than just friends. I think she wants you to ask her to the prom. Chloe? Yeah, right. No, really. She already picked out a dress. It's pink. Ryan, you just met Chloe and she hates dresses, and she's not exactly the prom type. Well, maybe she has a romantic side you never knew about. Warrior Angel. I'm a fan myself. You must be Ryan. I'm Lex like... Luthor. Clark told me all about you. You know I have one of Original you. first edition panels framed in your house. How'd you know that? You're rich. <laughs> that was kind of rude. Lex is my friend. Don't worry about him. He's going to leave. Lex's father offered him a new job. You don't know Lex's father. He would never do that. Thanks, Guy. You're a lifesaver. You're welcome. Why the frown? She's not a good person, Lana. We should fire her. Clark's the best thing that's ever happened to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He makes up for not being able to have your own kids. I wanted to see it for myself. Can you hear everything people think? Only what's on the surface what they're thinking at that moment. So for you, I can't read your mind. A tree. A pine tree. Ryan. Father, mother, and son. Another pressure headache? Let's try and push on. I don't want to answer any more questions. There's just a few more left. Full moon. A butterfly. Train.
They're here. Imagine getting a phone call from Lex Luthor at five in the morning. Hey, Pete, come here a second. Pete knows your secret. Yeah, I know, I told him. It's all right. Did you know he's all stressed out about it? No. Why? He's worried that one day you'll slip up and tell someone. Then they'll lock you up in a place like Summerhall. Hey, what's wrong? Just a headache. Come on, go get you a glass of water. You sure you're okay? Clark, Lana's moving to Metropolis. You pretend around Mr. Kent you don't like your job. But you do. I know your secret. Why don't you tell Mr. Kent and Clark? They'd want to know. I will, when the time is right. But um, in the meantime... I promise, my lips are sealed. Thank you. Why do you like Warrior Angel so much? Helped me through some tough times when I was younger. After your mom died? How did you know that? That's what your father told you. That doesn't mean it's right. You are either remarkably intuitive or... Brian? Brian, what's wrong? It's so loud. My parents said the doctor's gonna run some more tests. They don't need to. I know what's wrong with me. I read Dr. Garner's mind. What is it? There's a tumor in my head, Clark. It's getting bigger. I'll tell the doctors. They know. I'm dying, Clark. And no one can save me. Ryan, what's wrong? Ryan. Ryan, what's wrong? It's so loud in here. Somewhere quiet, right? It's time. That I'm ever gonna give in tonight. 